Welcome to another very interesting episode of Tea Time where we discuss the biggest intimate stories and of course have lifestyle conversations. My name is Elsie Godwin and I have my co-anchors with me, Ife Omai and Ife Olu What's up, what's up? Hi. What's up? It's good. I'm good. Yeah? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, the alleged owner of um, popular online news platform, Mr. Blog Ninja, mistakenly started a live video which showed her face. I um, though she merely ended it, but her face has been captured. This is me reading exactly what the bloggers are saying, exactly. Hmm. So, yeah. I mean, she's, she's also said, she tweeted some things, isn't it? Mm -hmm. She said the nonsense glitch, and now she has to be coming How many times, how many times are we going to have this face of Insta Blog Ninja owner revealed? In the cage has revealed one. No, no, but Kemi this one has revealed one. No, this one, people reviewed them. This one, you went live. Mm -hmm. with I saw that notification, Insta Blog is yes, going live. live, and I was about to clear next thing. Video mm. at the end then. So yeah. obviously this one is totally different from all the other ones we've seen. So you think this is the owner of Mr. Blog? I don't think this is I don't, I don't know, but this person knows that at least this person can is point, hand definitely, the this person person can point us in the direction of the owner of Mr. Mm. Blog. So blog. she won't block her. And then this uh, <laughs> Naramali said just get security just in case that is empty threat. Please you should know? stop his rasness, I beg. Which one is No no it wasn't it wasn't like trying to berate her or anything. He just said um, empty threats, don't mind them, but just get security just in case. Mm. What was that supposed to mean? Because a lot of people are beginning to threaten her now. You know there are people have always said like someone like David Doe, who is always being dragged by Insta blog in his words. If you see, you know, he even did a song for them. Which in Insta blog won't talk again. Da -da -da -da. Mm -hmm. You know that jam, right? So it's not like there are a lot of people that are really looking for the owner of Insta blog. Mm. You know? Well, they need to keep looking. Do you think? So do you think that there's a possibility that she's actually the owner of Insta blog? I don't think um, the owner of Insta blog at this point will be handling Insta blog. Mm. I think there will be several handlers of Insta blog right now mm. because um, I could we see, we see stories from Kaduna, we see stories from so I feel like you're yeah. working with different there are multiple e, platforms. E or or she. There's Twitter, there's Instagram, there's Facebook. Yeah. Mm. So I yeah. feel like he or she will be working with different People. influencers from different parts of Nigeria. Different content creators, yeah. actually. Yeah. Because I've been following some th threads just to see what people are saying and what angles they are bringing from it. And one person said, ah. This cannot be the owner of Insta blog that she doesn't look rich enough. And then somebody Someone else said, the ceiling. Yeah, so exactly. The person actually said, why, why, why would this picture you know, take like her status and everything? Let's not analyze the ceiling and, these <laughs> and the curtains and everything. And I mean, I didn't really think about it that way, but it kind of made sense. Like, it's true, shout because the advertise on, on Insta blog is quite a lot. And mm. I'm sure they will have a lot more money or whatever. And she just looked like, I don't know, like a normal person. And the last time someone I know spoke to Insta blog, it was a man. Yes. Who, who, mm. who, yeah. Who, I mean, I think that was the, was it Kemi that did that one at the time where they were saying that the person you used to work with, um, is it Punch now or something? I can, yeah, can't remember I think, that story. Yeah, I remember that so I think story. that one felt a little bit more believable like than person. every other one that came out before that and even after that. So I don't know. Whoever owns Insta blog, you're definitely cashing out. You're having fun, but at least I can authoritatively but say. But I don't understand Moji why Delano Moji does not own Insta blog. Is that her name? Yeah, yeah Moji. Her name. But why? That's why I'm wondering why Moji came out to say. Uh, what a mistake. Because um, obviously it helps keep the real person anonymous. Mm -hmm. No, it helps keep the real person anonymous. So if I actually want to be anonymous and then somebody else mis looks like it could be the owner, that works perfectly for me because mm -hmm. then I'll definitely so be anonymous. So she's taking the fall for the owner of Instagram. Um, it wasn't fall. deliberate. Um, yeah. There is something that is supposed to start happening on Instagram, which is supposed to be the handler of that part. So I'm guessing that um, that part of their plan is almost getting to fruition, which is why she has the details and all that, and she mistakenly went live or something. But um, I guess it will all come in the open very soon because I don't want to talk too much. Mm. Oh, yeah, let's move talk. on. Mm. Right, so, it's like, like a signal. Yeah. She has yeah. one. Yeah. Moving on. One. Yeah. Real quick. She's moving on. Oh, my God. Moving on. Yeah, sorry, my darling. All these bloggers. Yeah, sorry. Go. Giving us. No, what, what, is, what is in public? I'll let you know. Oh, please. Yeah. 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 We'll talk we'll about moving on when it's in public. Let's go now. But she's not the only one of Mr. Blog anyway. We're moving on. You don't know what? I'm telling you she's not the owner of Mr. Blog. Do you know the owner? Yeah, 
Uh, you know the organizers uh, of us. Berlin International Film Festival say they will stop awarding separate acting prizes to women and men beginning next year, stating that the performance awards will be defined in a gender neutral way mm -hmm. at next year's festival for which a fiscal event is planned. Mm. Me? Uh, mm. I worry. Mm. Uh, I always used to say when people have good intentions to cure a problem, but when that, when that initiative is, can create another problem, I get worried. And I think this is one of those things where they have an intention to obviously make things a lot more inclusive for people who are not, who don't fit in the gender um, um, boxes. But I think you're making another problem by um, also, uh, will I say making the people who fit those things invisible as well? So where, where is the balance with that? I think there is a lot of um, opportunities that come for male and female categories that are necessary absolutely necessary because they are very different genders and and not being not fitting into that gender, gender is also another category but i think all three are supposed to have a platform as well if that makes sense so i don't know how you how they're going to do it and i'm sure the society that they're in in berlin this probably helps and it's it's something that i don't know will favor most people but I worry, especially for women, and this is coming from a very feminist perspective, when I'm, I'm, I'm quite concerned about the female voice. Already, there's already a lot of um, disparities in that. So how do we, how do we even um, follow the progress and the growth of women in that country who have been obviously sidelined in many ways? So how do you, how do you, like, how do you um, monetize that if everything is going to be gender neutral for such a platform? I don't know. For me, I think... Um it's 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 not really a smart move but, but i don't know they, they haven't really told us why they're making this move right uh, isn't that obvious no no I, I need them to tell me i need to hear from the losses man maybe they call you if somebody's like, making a gender neutral thing i'm getting there i'm okay. getting there the reason why i said this is because a man acts in a particular capacity you cannot say best actor in a movie and say, and you will not be able, because we have best actor in a movie that is a man, best actor in a movie that is a woman, best actor in a movie that is a transgender, best actor in a movie that is, whatever role it is, they acted in a particular capacity of a particular gender, right? Mm. So how can you separate the role in which I acted in as a man? And I, the role that woman acted in as a woman. I mean, what, what, what I think I've say, seen what, that, that's some, okay. that's, some awards that have gone gender as far based, as yeah. just saying, like best, you said, best actor. Yeah. Because we've also agreed that actor can be used for a man yeah. or be used for a woman. Yeah. So best director as well. We best director and for a man this, or a woman. Yeah, and this is how exactly I feel for those kind of categories as well. Because like you rightly said, um, you're acting something. You're either acting as a man, man. or you're acting as a woman. Or maybe if there is a trans character or... Mm -hmm. I mean, those characters are really peculiar and it, they don't exactly. come up on every kind of movie even if they are in a movie sometimes you see them in that movie and you realize that they they were put into that script just to create a can balance. i just correct something really yeah. quickly so when when the acting the uh, the role of the movie is done by a transgender person or whatever that's not really uh, when the character is about a transgender or a male or a female that's not what the award is really about the award is mm. about the person that's acting that character. i know but remember so, when there was an opera i'm trying to remember where exactly it is now but about a a woman who is supposed to act a trans role and they were saying there are so many trans mm. that are actors and they need opportunities. I mean, mm. that conversation yeah. Yeah, is already ongoing. Yeah. So we are getting to a point where they feel like actually, I mean, the LGBTQ community feel like they need people from their community right. to represent them in movies. Yeah. So it's not a case of taking a straight guy to act uh, yeah, yeah. a bi guy or a gay guy because yeah. you know he can kill it mm. so that conversation is ongoing already right mm -hmm. meaning oh if you are not a bi you cannot so how do we now get to the point where you are now saying we are taking away we are going to be blind to gender and have to mm. um give the award based on your acting skills if mm. that conversation did not come on at all then maybe yeah i'll be comfortable to say well anybody can act any role but these are the same people that will not accept a straight person acting a gay which role. is why i started with i would mm. like to know the reason for make um, for taking this they're decision. trying to gender oh, neutralize it now not, are you the spokesperson? but that's the name of the award it is self-descriptive you're asking an obvious question if i'm, I'm if i'm saying that i want to I want to make a pageant more diverse by creating a diverse 
<laughs> pageant, whatever. You're asking me what is the reason that I'm making it diverse. It's in the, it's in the, 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 uh, the question is in the answer already. They are saying that they want to neutralize gender. You didn't gender. even get my question okay. because I wasn't even asking it to you. But what I'm trying to say is that the reason why I'm saying why, what is your reason? Have they had issues in the past with people, maybe disparity with more men getting awards and women not getting it? Mm. Or, you know, something no. like that. That's no, it's because, because they're they've trying always to, been yeah. in male category and they've always been a female category. Exactly. They are trying to involve the people who don't fit into that category to make them feel better. So if you say that, so the we's and the she's and the, no, the us and them. Why is it so difficult for them to just create another category? Which is what I, I said my, when the first time I, I broke into this conversation, because I think I was the person that spoke yeah. first. Why don't we just create that, that, that category for them as well than, dis, than, than destroying the already built ones? It's kind of like how I feel about toilets as well. Yeah. When they say like new, um, unisex toilets, there mm -hmm. should be unisex toilets, but there should also be male toilets and female, female toilets. toilets. Because what if I don't feel very unisex? What I if mean, I don't feel there are, very neutral about it? What if I'm pretty straight about what I want to be? Yeah, like? this this reminds me of what I said as well. Like in making, in creating this inclusion, we are beginning to not think about the people who are actually or have been of this gender for the longest of years. So I'm talking of the male and the female. Yes, we are getting comfortable with understanding that there are other genders and there is nothing we can do about it. It, mm. it is here to stay anyways. So we are getting used to that. But in getting used to that and creating an inclusion, let's not forget that women have got feelings. Men have also got feelings. And if you decide to move from men to women, we also want to be able to recognize your feelings as well. So don't uh, downplay it or feel like um, because we it's just like saying, oh because um, a person is white they don't have issues anymore let's just focus on the issue of the black person because that's the only people that matter in the world right now mm -hmm. that's how that's the kind of vibe this is giving yeah. to me that I don't necessarily I mean like. I'm not gonna I'm not, I'm not I'm gonna 100% um, say that because ev every time um, what's it called there's been privileges given to a, a number of people and it starts to get taken away we do feel threatened and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna agree completely to the fact that there's some there's some privileges that can be taken away from the whole man and woman box and given to other and shit amongst other people i get mm -hmm. that and i think that's how the inclusion starts to come in when they say okay don't give the role to somebody else who's straight why don't you that that for me is like sharing the platform because there's still spaces for straight people to act in but this award to me and i, I, I i'm saying it again because i know there's already a lot of disparities amongst gender the already male and female gender going on and how I guess unfair it can be, especially in the entertainment industry where there's more, more um, uh, uh, privileges to sometimes female, sometimes we're trying to balance that out. So then to completely wipe that away and say everything's going to be neutral is weird to me. Okay, moving on to the next story. DJ Copy thanks Wizkid for helping her promote her new album. Congratulations. Yeah, way to go. I think um, this is the support we've always been um, talking about from mm -hmm. different artists where I don't think um, Whiskey had any collaboration with Copy. Or mm. he had so why is he Copy he's promoting? I mean... It's not just Copy. I don't know if you saw the post. He put out uh, Adekunle Gold. No, mm. he put Apollo. He put Rema's Fire Woman. Boy. He put... Yeah, Apollo okay. is Fireboy. He put um, Rema's Woman and then he put DJ Copy's own. I don't know if Adekunle Gold was Did also Did you put Bonaboy? Yeah, Bonaboy. That oh, was cool. the first one. Do you understand? And so he said, my, my guys, and his quote was, um, Africa lit, lit my brothers and sisters with the smoke. Do you understand? So that's the support that we've always been asking for. Mm. Like inclusion, putting everybody, even FIA from Tiwa Ghana, Tiwa Savi, Celia. So everything is listening to right now, big, the albums uh, out uh, there. It's a big brother. Whiskey is being the big brother of, yeah. you know. Ah, okay. Yeah. Me, I just know there's a lot of music out that I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm really happy about. Years, just yeah. bored for. And I, I kind of like how it's in sync because Lagos has kind of like lifted a bit and it's starting to feel normal. So I'm really excited for the fact that there's new music as well to go with that. Mm -hmm. And I, M music for me is something I, I like making memories with, like singing in the car with friends or things like that. So when I saw that, I didn't really care that much who was, who was coming from. Obviously, I'm, I'm glad that, yes, you're showing love I'm, and support. Yeah, but I'm the, glad the, the fact that he started that. doing all those screenshots, it kind of made me like, okay, there's a lot of music out there. Um, with Skid, you know, it'd be nice if you just drop yours as well. Leave this kid alone. Whatever. Thank you. <laughs> no, I'm just telling you, we're waiting for He has shot. heard. He's we're working on it. Okay. Ah, it's okay. Ah, before you put push the but way to go boy, man be because mad. a lot of people will say is unless you're on the project or even people that are on some certain project do not even promote yeah. the oh, body that, of that's work a good thing. but it's, a good, it's thing. a good thing that it wasn't even on I don't it, it wasn't on any of them's album mm. and it's still I don't know about Tiwa Savage it wasn't. He wasn't, no, it wasn't, it wasn't on any of them's album yeah, and he pushed any. it it wasn't on that's any that's why I said he's a big brother now he's of he's, course yeah. why wasn't he been. on any though that's wow okay was Davido on any Hmm. David, I think David is on Tiwa's album. 
Yeah, it's on Tiwa's album. Mm. Mm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. So, Fabra Gara shoots, mm -hmm. okay, shut down claim. Um, Ellen DeGeneres was being racist. Recently, a video of Sophia appearing on Ellen's show surfaced on social media. In it, Ellen appeared to be mocking Vergara's accent. Um, the teasing drew criticism that Ellen was being racist, but Sophia tweeted that that wasn't the case at all. She tweeted, and I quote, two comedians having fun with each other to entertain. I was never a victim, guys. I was always in on the joke, end of quotes, period. I think the lesson from this is sometimes let people speak for themselves. Let the people that you feel are victims speak for themselves because at the end of the day, yes, it might be your truth, but what if it's the person that you're trying to speak their truth for them, it's not theirs. So that's all I learned from all of this that she Seems said she's in on the agree. joke. No, I don't. I think that's really dangerous for me to wait for the victims to say that they are victims. I think a lot of the times, the, one of the, for me, my person, even my personal life, the time I've experienced abuse, sort of, I was really young and I didn't even see that I was sort of being in a toxic environment or was being, you know, manipulated or whatever. And it took somebody else to call that out for me. So I'm not going to wait for people to tell me their truths. But you understand before, that sometimes you are talking about, which is let, what let, you're saying, let me you're talking let about the truth that is not even a truth. Because maybe you using the truth is the problem. Yes, yeah. and that's what I was going to say. That, that, that's why I said I don't agree to what Ife is saying. If you're bringing it to the story, mm -hmm. I agree to um, what's it called? Um, I was going to call out whatever. I'm just going to say Begara. Sophia. Begara. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to say Sophia. I think with Sophia, so if I watched that clip, and I think I actually remember watching that episode when it came out because mm -hmm. I, I was following her when she was on Modern Family and stuff. So I watched that. I watched the whole thing, actually. It was pretty much just banter. Mm -hmm. There was no hysterical whatever, whatever. I think um, Ellen is under a lot of scrutiny right now and everything that she's done. Or do there was one time where they put a video of her laughing and she's doing one laughing and they said she was racist or whatever. So I think it's a, it's a shame that, that they are being that critical of things and I agree to um, if assessment in this context, but not in general. I think sometimes mm. I'm not. I'm not going to just sit back and see. some people are okay with being to being in around the toxic environment. That doesn't mean that they're not getting abused. But trying to make that balance. Hmm. Okay. Well, I, I definitely love what Sophia has done. Um, yeah. There are people that would just keep quiet and or say, ride you know, the wave. Mm. Yeah. But at the end the of the wave, day, she doesn't, so she doesn't happy. have any. She, she was the highest earn, um, earning actress as that last year so she doesn't really have anything to gain from riding oh, a, a negative it. wave like <laughs> so people that have been riding negative <laughs> wave they were they broke if uh -huh. i'm just saying that i don't think you can never have that. enough publicity. i think and, she's, and then I she think looks she's up, a good and i think person. she also kind of looks up to erlin and exactly she I think is she's a, a good, good person, person. And, and i this, think ellen was just not being racist like it was pretty yeah simple. and yeah, was I, I don't know i'm trying and i don't even get where the racism came from i feel like i still need to graduate to what ife was trying to say because this usually in this contest happens a lot on social media okay. where you probably see some banters and even in comedies like you see a friend talking to a friend i've tweeted something at my friend before and we're being just ourselves yeah and someone came in to start attacking me and like what is wrong with you this is like you don't even know who i'm talking to there is a contest and i won't be saying things like that to a stranger so sometimes actually in social media space maybe it's important for people who want to become keypad warriors and activists to try to look at the back end of each story. So if they cut out two minutes video, one minute video for you to watch and people, a lot of them has fallen for this over and over again. Why not take out time to look for the full video, get the real context of that um, conversation. I'm sad we don't have time because I was going to challenge you. Why exactly? I'm, because it's not always the case, but most times or sometimes it usually happens whereby that is not what this person is trying to say, but a mm. part of the video has been cut out to make it look because that way. Of there are cases when you go back and you realize that, yes, this person is still wrong mm. for doing the one minute. And there are cases where okay. you realize that this person wasn't, it wasn't in that context you were taking it. Mm. So it's not going to harm you to be sure mm. before dragging a person, of dragging a person and then going back to realize that, okay, that mm. wasn't what they meant, basically. Right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> My director. Okay, thank you for watching. And um, of course, send your opinions via WhatsApp to 0906005719 or tweet at us at Plus TV Africa. My thank you as always to go to my co anchors, Ife Omai and Ife Olu Oshinke, yes, and the entire production team. Thank you for watching. My name is Elsie Godwin. Stay safe.